Are you looking for some new ways to organize your basement? Well, I found the perfect solution for our RV and hopefully it'll work for you too. We really do appreciate the fact that Tiffin works really hard to offer us as much storage as possible. Although this storage space is a little less than ideal. It is only seven inches deep, which makes it difficult to actually make use of this entire space. This is what our storage looked like before the makeover. As you can see, all the storage is this low and we have all this open space and we're not doing anything with it. So my goal was to figure out how to use this space. And then it just hit me. While walking through my garage one day, I had a light bulb moment. Do you see that? Do you get what I'm thinking here? I did it once before. I figure why not do it right here in my new garage? The process for making the pegboard was actually pretty easy. I cut three pieces to fit each side and then I painted it with just leftover paint we had in the garage. Now, I decided I did not want to screw into the RV because it kind of freaks me out a little bit. I'm worried about leaks and holes and I don't know what I'm drilling into. In order to brace it so it's not falling forward when we're driving it, I actually attached each side together with the L bracket. That way they would hold them in place and keep them from falling over. I actually attached um, a one by two on the back of each one and what that's going to do is it's going to brace it against the back and it's also going to give room for me to hook things in through the loops. There are many options that you can use on your pegboard to actually hang your tools. So I have four different options here for you. Of course most people know about the little metal hooks. Uh, most garages have these but there are a couple other um, more versatile less expensive options. First is the zip tie and I'll show you how we put all these on later but um, the zip tie there's also these flexible bungee cords you can find everywhere now these are actually really cool and then the last one which is a pretty cheap idea is this flexible wire you can get in a roll and you can just cut it to size so all of these will fit into your pegboard to hold your tools so let's install it back in and you can see exactly what i'm talking about and here's the finished product as you can see this is why i call it my garage in my basement because it really does replicate what I had um, already built for the garage and with this uh, pegboard you can use um, all your open space so you can go all the way to the ceiling so that space is not wasted. Um, we did use the corners to hold the three pieces in tight to keep it from falling forward when you're driving around but one thing to know if you decide to use the hooks um, that you can get in the you know regular pegboard for regular pegboard um, like these you will need to put something on the tip of it to keep your tools from falling off. So as we were driving, some of the wrenches and things just bounced right off. Um, but with this little twist tie, it keeps everything in place. And this side turned out so good, we decided to add pegboard on the other side as well. Let's go check that out. I decided to install the pegboard on this side of the RV as well to make use of this space at the top. And as you can see, it works out just as well on this side. I am really glad I built the pegboard for our basement. It is really very useful and as you can see we're using all of our space instead of just the bottom. Um, now for those of you who thought Phil actually created these, shame on you. The power tools were all mine and yep I miss them. Of all the things I miss that's probably number two right behind my friends. We would love to know how you've organized your basement or any other space in your RV because face it it's a challenge for all of us make sure you hit that subscribe button and oh follow us on Facebook and Instagram we would love to see what's going on with your RV travels as well and if you hit that bell at the bottom it will alert you whenever we post a new video so thanks for watching and I'll see you on the road <laughs>